YouTube is Asian. Fina, I'm back with another very exciting food review. Today, I'm reviewing all these peanut butter and also their wheat bread. Let me tell you, when a snowstorm hit, everybody, everybody was buying all the food from all these. This is like one of the last loaves of bread. But at least we got something to review. This is all these all good peanut butter creamy flavor 18 full ounce I believe my dad said he paid about 225 ish for this here are some of the nutrition info so you can see manufactured by all good food company you but if you guys didn't know all these is owned by a German company by the same makers of IKEA here we go, this is the Lovin' Fresh Split Top Wheat Bread. No, fructose, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors or colors. Only one gram of fat per slice. Oh, wow, looks like the expiration date is coming up soon. And here are some of the nutritional info, 60 calories per slice. You got 22 slices in here. I wonder if it counted front and the end slices but anyway by the way those are my favorite ones especially when it's toasted all right so enough of that let's open this up and see just how good it is one thing for sure is it's affordable i believe it is like 89 or 99 cents so you can't beat the price of all of these that's for sure like i gotta mention i love the end slice so i'm gonna use that here is a peanut butter. I'm pretty sure it's going to be foiled. Yep. Do a close up look. I'm going to try to do a hurry up review because my mom wants me to review one of her recipes. Okay, so there you have it. It looks like this. Here we go. Personally, I think I prefer the crunchy type, you know, with some crunch to it. I just like the real peanut look. Let's just give it a go. I don't know if I was super hungry or what. I almost ate the whole thing and I forgot I was doing a review. The bread is... It's what you expect with a typical wheat bread. I can taste that wheat flavor in there. It's pretty fresh tasting. Kind of grainy it's probably not the highest quality bread but for me it tastes fine the peanut butter is definitely creamy that flavor remin reminiscent of Jif or the Skippy brand by the way Jif is my favorite brand but then again I hardly eat peanut butter mmm Let's finish this piece up. Alright, let's try another piece. Just make sure we cover all the bases. By the way, this is going to be a perfect after workout snack. You got some of that carb and calories from the bread and all the protein, the cheap protein from the peanut butter. Once again, this is the creamy peanut butter. Here's one slice of the bread. Yeah. Wheat. It's definitely better than whites. There we go. Just fold this up real quick. Just like that. This is going to provide me with the energy to go out and shovel 10 inches of thick, heavy snow in negative degrees weather. Well, let's do the verdicts for the all good peanut butter. It's tasty. It's not overly sweet. It's got a little salt to it. Typical way you expect from a regular peanut butter of the creamy kind. It's not up to par with the Jif or Skippy, but hey, it's very cheap. So for that, I'm going to give you guys an 82%. Now for the bread, 
The Love and Fresh Split Top Wheat Bread. I like the price, that's for sure. And wheat is good for you. All that nutritional info is also good. Hey, it's bread. So that's in itself a meal. I'm gonna have to give you guys a 86%. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'm about to get to work. By the way, go blues.